This week, we're going to take a look at updated crop condition ratings for U.S. soybeans as well as crop progress. And we're going to shift gears this week away from supply and weather and focus on export prospects for U.S. in September, October, November. We're going to wrap things up taking a look at trends in November soybean futures. Hi, this is Brian Bastine with Advanced Trading. Let's talk about the soybean market. We've moved into September now and we're inching closer to the soybean harvest. Let's take a look at updated crop condition ratings. We saw stabilization in crop condition ratings nationwide this week at 56% good to excellent. Notice last year at this time it was at 66% good to excellent. We saw some deterioration in parts of Iowa uh, as well as uh, Kansas. South Dakota, we did see some improvement with some rainfall in North Dakota. As we look at our U.S. soybean crop condition index now, the index inched higher this week. It's still at one of the lowest levels in recent memory here as we enter month of September. Let's take a look at crop progress now, specifically soybeans dropping leaves. As we approach the next two weeks, we're looking at soybeans dropping leaves increases approximately 22%, and that'll be so close to about 30 to 35% by the middle of September. We're going to shift gears this week away from supply and weather and take a look at September, October, November export prospects, prospects for U.S. beans. We're going to start out looking here at unshipped U.S. soybean export sales. Now we're looking at a big drop off from last year when we had record amount of soybean sales on the books. We're going to highlight that a little more in detail in a second. But the key thing is, is that we're starting out here as we highlight here a much weaker program or a slow start, if you will, to this 21-22 marketing year. Why is that? A big reason for that is a reduced export program looks to be in the works for China. Our slide here focuses on China, looking at September, October, November prospects. What we're seeing is that Brazil has uh, about seven to eight million more tons of export of, of soybean supplies on hand here compared to a year ago. And Brazil is still sourcing a large percent of their, China is still sourcing a large percent of their supplies from Brazil. So we're looking here at uh, prospects over the next few weeks here. What we, we want to do is highlight that it looks like that China still has to buy about twice as much as average or about 180 million bushels of U.S. beans. So we are seeing these daily export sales announcements from the USDA. We expect those to continue over the next few weeks. Now here's the key. Again, Brazil is still looking at a much larger supply than a year ago, so China probably isn't going to source as many beans from the U.S. this year as they did a year ago. But we do expect them to come in here and continue to buy beans over the near term. Let's wrap things up this week looking at trends in November soybean futures. We've highlighted this consistently throughout the calendar year, but it bears repeating that as we start September or the new crop year for soybeans here, we're looking at the highest price for November 2021 soybeans in eight years. You have to go all the way back to 2013. Again, we strongly encourage you to work closely with your trusted risk management advisor to manage this price movement as you move into harvest. Now, if you'd like more information, please feel free to contact us at 800-664-2321. We'll put you in contact with one of our risk management consultants who will be happy to visit with you at your convenience. And remember, we upload every Wednesday. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to never miss an upload. Thanks a lot. Hope you have a great holiday weekend.